Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Kurt here. Uh, in today's training, I'm getting fixed by fix my camera here. Uh, guys, in today's training, we're going to be going over how to set up your ads in List Building Club. So let me go ahead real quick and share my screen here. Give me one second here. And go back to you. Actually, let me go back over here real quick. I'm going to close out these tabs I don't need. All right, and and share. All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, right now, guys, um, if you have missed any of the training before, uh, make sure you actually go back into the, the YouTube channel, into our YouTube playlist, and you'll find all the training back in there. Uh, you'll also find a link to all the training in the memories area, so it should be right uh, down here. You'll find a link to all the to our Zoom meetings. This is always in the same link, and there should be there's a link on here for the training. I'm actually going to go ahead and make I'll go ahead and redo this. Make sure you actually can. It's easier to find too. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's today. We're, like I said, we're going to talk about how to actually get your ads set up in the latest building club. So uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and. Leave my light. Fix my light here so we can see. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. And yes, guys, I have my hair is blue now. I've been uh, trying different hair colors uh, lately. So um, my husband and I got on this trend of actually just changing our hair colors every few months to something um, that's not typically uh, your, your typical natural colors. So, so uh, anyway, getting back to the training. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your list building club account. Okay. And you're going to go over to where it says set up as and view stats, okay? And uh, you guys may notice I'm, I'm having my glasses going on and off today. Um, I had surgery, my cataract surgery last month, and I don't need glasses to see normally, but I do need glasses right now if I'm reading something, which is my computer screen. So um, that's just something that's been going on with me. Uh, but anyway, once you're once you're logged in and you go into the ad section, okay, there's a few things you can do. Okay, first of all, if you have any available ads, okay, like for example, if you, I have some lifetime banner ads in this account, it'll show here in red. You have so many lifetime banner ads, like for this. If I scroll down, I get all my ads, all my ads here. Um, it'll say I have zero or say eight regular banners, and of course we have solo ads here. Scroll down, and if you have a lot of screens, if you have a lot of solo ads in your account, it's going to be a long list of just a blank spaces until you actually utilize these these solo ads. Scroll down, okay, and then we got we got our our text link ads, for, which is basically our sorry, text ads, and then we have our login ads. And our full page ad, which is basically like our traffic exchange. Okay. So, guys, to set your ads up, a couple of things you need to do. First of all, in order to purchase ads, okay, all you need to do is there'll be a link on each type of ad that says click here to purchase more lifetime banner ads, for example, or it'll say more, more banners or more text links. So, if I, if I click that, okay, it's going to take me right here. And right now, we're using PayPal. Um, we were using Stripe and having uh, issues getting uh, getting uh, support from Stripe. Um, I can't log into my account for some reason, but but every every payment that goes through here, uh, that's gone through with uh, with Stripe has gone through. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but since I can't log into my account, I can't I can't see what's going on. I switched to PayPal, and I'm actually going to have my programmer go ahead and add more, multiple uh, payment systems in here, so you guys can be able to pay with it. Like, let's say PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and a lot of, and even some crypto options. So it'll be a lot more as well. So all you need to do is click on any of these buttons here, and it will take you to PayPal. So you can actually purchase, you can purchase more ads. So if, if I click on PayPal here, it'll take me to PayPal to log in. I'm not going to log in here. It'll take me to PayPal to log in, and you just follow the steps here. So I'm going to go on back out of that. Okay. Um, that's very simple, guys. And it's the same with every with any type of uh, of ad. And if you do two banner, like two lifetime banners at a time or three at a time, you're gonna get a discount. Same with everything else. Um, also, um, actually, we go back to the ads here. 
also, if you are owed commissions and you um, you can either be paid commissions or you can actually opt to get those in credits and you'll get twice as many credits as if you bought them normally. So what you can do is to save to get a good tip here, to save save some money, save some, save some time, is you can actually go into your account, see how many, see how much uh, commissions you're owed. Then you can take that and you get the, there's a set, uh, option there to to trade them for credits. So let's say, for example, you got 50 bucks in your account. Well, if you paid $50, $50 straight up, you'd get a certain number of credits. But if you took your commissions and you opted to get credits for those, you're going to get twice as many twice as many as you would if you bought them. And then you could take equal here and you can actually use your credits to purchase, uh, purchase your ads. So if I did that, for example, I'll go here, I'll click this again. You'll see right here, click purchase using your credits. Okay, so it's that you're actually going to get twice as much value out of it if you're using your commissions to purchase more credits and then use those credits to buy your ads. Okay, if that makes any sense. Uh, so going back to the setup ads page, we're going to go and uh, I'm going to show you how to set these up. And so first, of all, let's go into <clears throat> let's do a lifetime banner. So um, we're going to see I got eight eight here. See, so let's click here to set these up right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click here. And what I need is a 468 by 60 banner only. Uh, if you do put one in that, that's not this exact size, it will get rejected. Okay. Um, I, 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 manual, I manually approve ads uh, that, that come through. So if it's not the right size, it will be rejected. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time sending emails to people saying, oh, by the way, this way was rejected. I'm just going to reject it. And then um, if you have an ad that's been sent back to your account, for you to check out, it means that something was wrong with it. So we'll go from there. Uh, so now I need to do is I need to uh, put in a banner, name, URL, and my target URL, which is my, which is the link I want to go to. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab a, I go to my lead sleep because I, I create all my all my pages in lead sleep. Okay. And a little tip that I do: I don't promote any um, affiliate links directly ever, okay? What I'll do is is I'll create a, a capture page and a follow-up series to promote whatever it is. I don't even care if it's, if it's a traffic exchange. I'm not gonna promote the link directly. I'm gonna promote, I'm going to put in a, um, I'm put, make them go through, have them go through a capture page first. And then in the follow-up series, they'll be prompted to join that, that exchange, okay? So I'm gonna go over to my, my page manager here real quick. If I can find it. There we go. And I'm going to use my opt-in for Fairy Heads. Fairy Heads is a is a uh, exchange from by uh, that's owned by Leonie Easterbrook. She's another she's a VIP member here at Lewis Building Club. She owns this whole network of sites. Uh, and I'm actually going to be putting all of her sites in the downline builder. Um, also, if you are a site owned, if you own uh, one site or many sites, let me know and we'll work something out and we'll actually get it put in the downline builder. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the site here. Okay, this is a page I created. It's an opt in page. And then when you do down, I need to go over to, to Fairy Hits real quick. And I'm going to grab the banner real fast. So I'm going to log in here. Uh, t -t 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 and go into the affiliate tool section. I remember where that's at. I right, saw so the affiliate toolbox. And I'm going to grab this 468 by 60 banner. Yeah, I can either copy the the link in here. I can just I can just right click on this and click copy image address. Okay, now I'm going to go back over to List Building Club. I'm going to paste that banner URL right here. And I'm just going to title this Fairy Hits. And then we go ahead and grab. I'm going to go ahead and close the Fairy Hits site. I'm going to go ahead and grab this link from this capture page. And I'm going to paste the target URL in the target URL section. 
Then I'm going to go ahead and preview it. Okay, so the preview will come up here, and if you click on this, will be a tiny little window. If you click on this, it it will load up your site in this little tiny window here, and you can actually see if it's correct or not, which is it is. If you want to make sure you test that out, and then close that out. Okay, so we got our our title for our banner, so we know what it is. Our URL and our banner URL and our target URL. Now I'm going to do is click on save. And that's it. And then, that, and then that banner is going to be available in our site, in our account. Okay. And then if I want to go back to the ad section, I can go down here and I'm just going to go ahead and do a search for fairy hits. And there it is right here. There's a new banner ad right there. And I can edit if I want to right here. Okay. And it's going to, this is the, let's go back up here. And it's going to show how many times something has been displayed. Now, um, I don't think it's been displayed eight or twelve times. I just put it in, so this doesn't make any sense. Um, but that that that'll um, adjust itself in a bit. Okay, and then number of clicks, of course, the editing, and then, of course, if it's approved or not. And actually, right here, as you see, not yet, because admin has to approve the app. Okay, so that's me. Yeah, this is my this here is my members account, but also I'm also the admin. So I would have to go into my admin account and approve the ad. So anytime you have an ad ad submitted, it has to be approved by me manually. Okay, I don't automatically we don't automatically allow ads to be approved because sometimes people put stuff in that they shouldn't be putting in, or they put the wrong size banners or something, and it's and it messes up the entire display of the site. So everything is manually approved. All right. Uh, so next, uh, let's go ahead and. Let's look at another ad, ad type. And then basically, they're all the same. Um, they're all the same thing. So, so banner ads are the same as, as lifetime banners. The only thing is that banner ads, regular banner ads are based on credits per view. And lifetime banners are, are there forever. They're not, they never go, they never expire. Okay. Um, your solo ads. Okay. So if you want to set up your solo, I click here. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you can actually, Automatically post a solo ad that was already that you already had approved, and it'll just automatically automatically post it, and it'll send it to me to, for approval. Uh, or you can delete it. Uh, you can also just write a new post, write a new ad right here. Subject line, your ad body, and then the link you want to uh, just like a, it's just like a safe list. You get your subject, your ad body, and your link to go to that you're promoting. You can also click to save the ad. Um, a little tip here is that um, make sure, even this is HTTP here, make sure it's an HTTPS link because um, when it goes through to test, when you submit it, and it's gonna it's gonna test it, and if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, uh, if it's not an HTTPS, it may not display the the site at all uh, through the through the through the um the frame. Okay, so make sure it's HTTPS. All right. And it'll show up for sure. Okay. And then, so I'm not going to go, I'm not really going to do it, a, a solo ad post right there. That's not, you know, it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, but then we'll just go ahead and go back to the ads and, and just go over a couple of th good more things. Good. So banner ads, solo ads. Scroll all the way down this list of solo ads here. A okay, text links, basically the same thing as uh, as banner ads. Um, what you're going to do is you're just going to put in a short um, piece of text, bit of text, and then your link. That's all you get. That's all you need to do. Okay, um, very simple. And of course, they'll be approved manually. Uh, then we're going to go back down to the bottom here again. So login ads are. are we require a little bit of a, they might require a bit of the HTML uh, work, you know, they're pretty, but they're pretty simple to do. You click here, set it up. What you're going to do is you're going to, um, the subject you're at, that's just, that's basically for your own, your own, uh, 
for your own use, so you know what, what the ad's for. Uh, but you can type an ad in here if you want, or you can enter an image. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to put an image. Um, I would, I would click here, I would type it, I would add in the URL of the image here. And then all you'd have to do is, is highlight the image to hyperlink it, or simply go into the HTML, HTML view, okay? And then you'd be able to, actually, let me close that up. You'd be able to actually um, enter in here, okay? Uh, go ahead and, and I'll actually be, I'm actually gonna be doing a fully detailed uh, videos on all of these um, ad options we have. So um, we'll actually be doing training specifically on lifetime banners, specifically on text link ads, specifically on login ads, et cetera. So this is just a quick overview of how did you get the ad set up, right? And also, if you ever have questions, you need help with it, just just feel free to, you know, send me a support ticket, and I, I'll even I'll even create the ad for you if you need me to. If you can't you know can't figure out how to get it in there, um, just send me the image and the link you want. I'll, I'll be happy to help you with that. Um, so then let's go back to the ads, and then one more type of that we have. Okay. Um, Actually, no, let me go ahead. Let's go ahead real quick. Let's, um, not that I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and actually create a login ad, okay? Uh, so, again, I'm going to go and this, because this is one of the ads that, that requires a little bit more uh, work. So, let's let's go back to Fairy Heads again, okay? I'm going to go back to Fairy Heads. And I'm going to grab a large banner from Fairy Heads, okay? So, let me find the... Here we go. To the toolbox. Okay, so I'm going to grab a larger banner. That might, this, yeah, this one will work. Okay, so I'm going to copy the image address right here, and then I'm going to go ahead back into this building club, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type call this one theory hits. And I'm going to go ahead and center this. I'm going to get this image in here. The line is going to be middle. Okay. It's a 600 by 300 banner, which is fine. I'm not going to have any borders or anything like that. I'm going to click insert. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I need to actually. Click and drag to highlight that image. You can also um, just put an HTML code for the, um, if you want to. In fact, you can actually go here to Fairy, to Fairy Hits or whatever exchange you do and just copy this and put it into the HTML source. And then if you wanted to change the link to a capture page instead, you can actually change that out too. Uh, but now I'm going to go and take this, this capture page link and I copy that. And then I'm going to go and put it here. And then going to insert at the link. And I want to open, and I always set these open in, in a new window. You don't want them to open up in, in the new, because this is just going to irritate other members. Um, make sure you're always opting to put it in a new window when, when they open it. Because if people click on the ad, it's got to take them over to your page, got to take them off the list building club. And then they're going to be annoyed because they have to go back and re-log into the site. Because they can't back it, they, they go hit backspace. It's not going to let them. It's going to uh, it's going to give them a, a form submission error, or re resubmission error. So they're going to have to go back and log in again. Go through the whole process of of go through the login ads and the OTOs and all kind of stuff, and they're going to get annoyed. So always have your ads set to open in a new window. This way, it doesn't annoy any um, any of the users. Okay. So let's click on insert. And this ad looks interesting, so I'm going to go and just cut, open up in a new window here, but just so I can look at it later. I like to check out none of the members' ads because a lot of times I, I find some great ideas and some some great services too. Uh, but that's that's that. And I'm going to click on save. Okay, then if I go back to the ads, it's going to be down here. And then it's just waiting to be approved by, by me. That's it. And then, of course, the last type of that we have is our full page surf bar, surf ads, which is basically like a traffic exchange. So I can take this, I'll take this fairy hits, for example, and I will 
set these up. I'm going to paste in the link. I'm just going to call this Fury Hits. And I'm going to save it. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to the ads here. And let's go back down to the very bottom. Okay. And I can actually, um, I can assign credits if I want to. I want to edit it, or I can, but of course, I'm going to have to wait till it gets approved. But I can also click here, edit it, and I can actually change if I want to. Um, and then once it's approved, I can actually add more credits to it if I want. So to get more views. So anyway, guys, that is it for today's training. This is how, how you actually um, set up ads in List Plenty Club. Now I did promise a a promo code for those who are on are on the live. Uh, so I'm gonna do here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the chat. I can get back into the no, so I can get back into the uh there we go. Okay, to the chat. And use this promo code. Okay. And if you're on the live, you're gonna see this, you're gonna see this um, promo code here. Um, unfortunately, the promo code is available right now only for people on the live stream. Um, but again, if you do happen to uh, watch the replay and you would like the promo code, that's a huge ad pack. It's a hundred thousand credits plus a lot of different, um, some a little bit of each ad, like a few, like two or three of each ad type. Uh, if you want that promo code, I'd be happy to, uh, to get over to you. Uh, unless you can see this right now, but you can see this on the screen, okay? Um, I'm not sure how how the uh, how this works with with Zoom um, because this is not actually not on the browser. I mean, this is not the. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, no. Let me, let me go real quick and see um, how I can do this. Let's see, new share. Let's try this new share. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, let me see. Well, it might already be on there, but anyway, um, if you are on the uh, on the live stream, um, you can actually. If you're not, if you're watching the live stream, you, you'll see the uh, promo code in the chat. Uh, if not, if you if you can't see this the promo code on the screen right now, what you can do is uh, when you watch the replay, you can actually just contact me. And I'll be happy to to give you the promo code um, this time. Okay. Um, after the afterwards, after this time, uh, it's only going to be available to those who watch the live streams. And I know we get a lot of different things going on. I get a lot of different um, opportunities that I'm part of. And the live streams for those are often during the same time I do these live streams. Uh, so I'll probably be rescheduling it sometime uh, once I get things situated where I can actually do it. But anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's training. Uh, again, it's going to be posted in the, it'll be posted on my YouTube channel, uh, in my List Building Club playlist. And once that's done, you'll actually be able to access it. Um, I'm actually, there'll be a, a, a playlist uh, link uh, here inside the members area of List Building Club. So anyway, thanks guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next training.